One of the difficult things about the potential of being a cultural asset is being tested all the time by FBI and other forces. The problem is I know that I've pointed them in many directions toward people that are here illegally and doing things immorally, but that doesn't mean they care. You see, sometimes forces want to have a big eruption of something going wrong so that they can be right, but the problem, problem is they're not prepared to handle it, and that's something that our Lord God in heaven would know. You see, if we take something out before there's a problem in something that's called preventive maintenance, then there's no problem in 10 or 15 years when it could really be a problem. But if we allow things to brew and stew and do all this stupid crap on television that allows people to think they have a right to spy, they have a right to do things, they have a right to harm people, they have a right to lie, they have a right to cheat, they have a right to do these things, that openly it creates deceit in America. We don't need more of that. I see that every day with this little garbage truck man who still is allowed to do his job in the most asinine, be immoral, behavioral way. And what I see him doing is always listening up to anybody who's Hispanic and soliciting them to say, say things, to do things, to think things about a little man who's homeless. And you know what? It's not their fucking right. And since most of them can't speak the Lord's English, my attitude is where the fuck is Homeland Security and why aren't they doing anything? And more importantly, why is it this company that's been employed in? But I'm not going to say much more because maybe they're all legitimate and they just prefer to speak like they can't speak English. Because that gets them a lot of responsibility, doesn't it? Either way, I'm not their boy toy and I'm not something for them to play with. And either way, these people who are doing this shit with audio files are immoral and for the God. God did not create the science for you to be able to harm someone. And that is a problem. We also have people who have illegally and immorally put themselves into someone's pockets. I am looking in my wallet today to find cards that were not in my wallet. Now, in my wallet. Now, that wallet is inside my back pocket. I am not asking anyone to put their hands in my baggage or bring back to me things they've stolen and put it in my wallet. That is incredibly immoral. And if a police officer thinks he has the right to do that, how many of your wives is he going to abuse and rape? In America, we have to be very clear about what is our rights and what is not our rights. And being a law enforcement person does not give you the right to abate the laws of America. It does not give you the right to taint the food of a human citizen. And it does not allow you the right to be rude to someone just because they call your ass to the carpet for your lies. You don't have the right to pretend to be an owner of a business of a national corporation. And if they've arranged that with you as a corporation, a Christian organization, whoever owns that fucking Chick-fil-A, I promise you, you're going to have a lawsuit on yourself someday. In America, we have the right to be free. And the right to be free means the right to transportation that is public. So it doesn't matter how many of these little laws that they want to post in a bus if their bus supervisor is discriminating and harassing and monkeying in someone's life because he has the thrill of it or because he wants to have the fun of it or if someone is going into food pantries and interfering with the person who gets food and that is a monster stalking appetite that we need to stop immediately in America. In America we have moments of time to speak the truth and I am no little Muslim fucks boy and I will hit these boys who have stolen my phone and decided to make me into some sort of a person-to-person -person predatory game. A predatory game is what we're seeing in Hunter Games. Do you not understand that that whole fucking book series is about the fact that people are predatory? It's all about people with ethnocentricities and openly and overzealousness a zealousness for their country, which means that America is no longer that melting pot and even a smorgasbord. America is going to become another civil war if we're not paying attention. These are not only the words of the Lord today, these are the words of someone who has come to a city to start over and been nothing but monstrously harassed by the townies and the Greeks and the geeks and the plain smartasses of America. In America we have moments of time to speak the Lord's house and the Lord's house does not allow this abomination. You see, you might call me or my personhood or my paperwork or my property an abomination to your version of God, but let me tell you this, none of you know me, and none of you have the right to me, and not one fucking person, even my biological family, has the right to me underneath the third party aspects of the law and relationships. So let's be clear, if you're a stranger to me, if you're a community servant, if you work for the mayor's office at the end of the day, or perhaps you're going to go on your marvelous way to be at the end of the year acknowledging who you really work for in the Justice Department, which happens to be the current president, I think you want to think twice about fucking somebody over this year. You guys are making the news all day long for your immoral and illegal behavior. 
I don't think you need to keep doing that town from town to show that you have some military force that is ignoring the actual forces that protect our nation's borders in America. In life, we have moments of time to speak the reality. And the reality is what a person shows you is what they show you. What they prefer not to show you is none of your business. And we have immoral women and immoral men who think because they don't get to see something, they want to take advantage of something while somebody's asleep to look at something, to investigate something, to invade something, to harm something, to vandalize something, to be violent against something. And violence is in America. I'm a victim of violence in America. I am a victim of vandalism in America. I am definitely a vi victim of vanity in America, from the women who have loved me to the ones that allegedly hate me. Because I speak the truth. That they're not the only ones who can be abused. And yet they are abusers to people like me. I'm simply a homeless guy who lost his job because of the downturn in the economy and was busy dealing with my father's death. But it was too hard to handle the transition. It's not true, but it was challenging to do things when you're busy carting your mother back and forth across town because some shitbag in your family refuses to loan you $100 to keep your car out of impound. So a $5,000 repair goes down the toilet and it wouldn't have been the repair I would have made. I would have invested in a different vehicle for that and start on all over. But people didn't allow me the right to say no. The right to say no is every American citizen's right. And my right is to say no to you every fucking time you touch me at night, you motherfucking faggot. So don't do it again. Because pretty soon what God's going to do to you is turn around everything you've done to me and throw it completely at your family. So next might be your little son. Or next might be your daughter. And next might be your whole family dying of COVID. But if you're okay with that, then keep abusing me. But if you're not okay with that, put your ass to the floor, put your knees front of you if you can't do that and start praying to our Lord because he's not pleased with me today and neither am I and I am a consumer rights advocate I am a lot of things because under American citizenry we can become anything we want we can provide ourselves any opportunity we have and open you cannot say that a person doesn't have the right to multiple income streams it's how we get ourselves through retirement 